Hello again, my name is Mike Karras. Um, today I want to show you a new V-Book that we put together. Kind of show you another example of the technology and how it can be used. Um, what we've put together here is a, a, a monument recovery book. So I want to show you kind of what the current method is and show you why you might want to do this in a V-Book. Okay. So the first thing is I have this, uh, this big three ring binder here that has all the county monuments in it. So what I have to do is I have to know if I want to find this information is I have to open up the book, I have to look at the index, and then I have to thumb through it to find what I'm looking for. Okay. So not very effective. Um, you know, it's there, it's, it's, it's easy to use, but again, not very effective. You have to kind of thumb through it. It's not efficient. All right. So what the county did was they actually put a, a website together and on the website I just want to show you an example of what the website looks like. Again, how you would go about getting it through a, a traditional website is you may see something like this. Okay. Well, this website, if we take a look at it and I click on this index map, you can see it's a large PDF file. And if I open it up, it's an index file that looks something like this. And now I have to know where I need to be in the county, rather large county, know where I need to be and then go in and find that particular tag. So if I was to, you know, come in here and yeah, I can zoom in and on this and I can see that this one here, yeah, this is hyperlinked and can, I can go ahead and back to pick on this and select that. And that's going to take me to that data recovery sheet. So that's pretty good. But again, if you think about the efficiency of this is there's no search capabilities. I have to know that this is the monument uh, recovery sheet I'm looking for. So let's look at the difference of why you would put this in a V-book rather than a, a, on a website. So if I go to my digital library here and I want to look for that particular monument and I know that that particular monument is by the Lauderdale Shopping Center. Well, going to my digital library, if I was to come in here and type in Lauderdale Shopping Center, because that's where I know my project's going to be, and I go ahead and search for it, it's going to search all three of those books, and you can see when it comes back, it found a search resort, uh, a result. And you can see here that it's Station 3A, it's Lauderdale, and so now if I pick on this link right here, it's going to go out, it's going to open up the book, and take me right to that data sheet. So you can see it's much faster using a V-Book rather than a traditional website, right? So there's my, my Station 3A. It's at the shopping center. Um, right above it is Station 3. It's all indexed. I can go to here. Now I have that data recovery sheet that I can either print or write the information down that I need, such as a coordinate value and all that data, okay? So we've taken this a step further. Again, like I showed, if you've seen the other video I put together, is the ability to get to that data through a mobile device. I have the same device here and we'll, we'll zoom in on this. I'm gonna click on the app that we created. I am going to click in the um, book. I can enter in Lauderdale Shopping Center or I can actually do the voice recognition. And when I hit search, it searches my book just like it did in the uh, browser there. And if I click on station 3A, there's the same data recovery sheet. And if I turn it to the side, I can see it a little bit better. I can zoom in on it, zoom out, all kinds of stuff, okay? So the neat thing about this is it works also in reverse. So let's say that I'm out there and um, I know that that, um, that data sheet is uh, somewhere in the vicinity right so let's go ahead and switch over I'm gonna switch views here and you see you know in this case we're out on site we know it's in this area um, I know there's something near this maybe this food lion um, but I don't know where it is so what I can do same thing I just come in here food lion Lauderdale this comes up with food lion Lauderdale I'm gonna click on search it goes back there's station 3A again. I'm going to click on it. it. takes me to that data recovery sheet. Now, I'm still in the book. If I click on that page using my phone app and I go to maps, 
now you can see that it's taking me right to my map and where station 3a is and now because i have gps on my phone i would have the ability to view my location and then at my location i'd have a little triangle and i can use my phone to navigate to where that monument is or maybe i'm working on this project and we you know as you're going through it you stumble across uh, a benchmark or a, a, you know, a, um, a disc and on that disc it says uh, station 3A. Well, you grab your phone, you click on the search, you search for search uh, station 3A in the V-book, it comes back, finds that station and now because of the map I have, if we go in here and I click on 3A and I look at the details of it, I've got all my coordinate data right there. So we've tied basically Google Maps into your um, the V books, so you can either go from the V book, search the information, use your phone. Um, it's just a more efficient mechanism for accessing and getting this this data. Um, it's much faster. Um, again, you know, kind of the analogy is, yeah, I can swim across the lake, but if I had a boat, I could get across that lake much faster. So that's kind of what the V books, kind of what they're about. I mean, there it's. It's not that you can't do it through a website, it's just why not find a more efficient way to do it and we've put together this, this data. So in here you can see in the V-book I've got, you know, I can search through the book, I can work my way through it if I want to go to station 3A. I can actually get to it and that hyperlink works here as well. So it works whether you're in the book or whether you're from the phone. If I click on this image, it will actually take me out and show me that... Um, uh, take me to Google Maps on my laptop so I know how to get there. I know how to navigate to that point. Um, this is very easy to put together. Um, this book, you can see there's over 200 monuments in this book. If I scroll down through here, there's well over 200 monuments. There's some other data in there. Um, this took probably about um, actually a day to put together. These data sheets were already created. We just took them as a PDF. We uploaded them to the book. It built itself. We went and added some uh, detailed information, additional detailed information, and now we've got this book. It's ready to distribute. Again, one person. It took me a day to put this together. Very simple to do. Very easy to do. You can do it. You don't need me to do it. But we have the distribution technology to distribute it. So now I can distribute this book to all the surveyors in the county or engineers in the county. Whoever whoever's working for this county can actually have this monument book. So very powerful tool. The phone's very powerful, having that app available on a mobile device. If you've got your GPS out there and you can access the internet with your cell phone through your controller, same thing. You'd be able to access this same database through your phone. Um, so, again, if you want more information, contact us. Again, my name is Mike Karras, APW CTS uh, Professional Services, and we can provide you with more information and demonstrations about what the V-Books can do. Thank you very much.